to talk about how versatile I think my bike is. I, I love it. I mean, I do everything with it. I go for Sunday cruises. I'm speeding down the highway like a freaking madman. I just am very happy with my bike. I love it. And, and I do think this is something a beginner can learn on. I, I know it's been taught to death. Yeah, but on this CBR, I, I really think that a, a noob could actually ride it. You know, depending on the person, of course. You know, if you're someone to like freeze up and, you know, panic or something, then maybe, maybe not. But it really is depending on the person. I think this is an awesome bike because it doesn't, I don't always have to go fast on it to be comfortable or go slow to be comfortable or vice versa or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm comfortable all the time. I, I like, I love the seating position. It's not super aggressive. I mean, you can get down low and tuck yourself, of course, but naturally just sitting up. And then, you know, when you go one-handed, But yeah, so, you know, I know it's a sports bike, super sport, but it, it's very versatile. It's, it's agile, it's comfortable. This, this bike changed the game. Back it out, back it out. Thank you for not trying to kill me. Yeah, I, as you can see, I probably got ADD or something because I can't stick to one topic. I, my mind just kind of jumps around like, maybe I should be more organized. I'm like, oh, this is what I'm going to talk about. This is what's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. I just stick to that topic, but uh, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> there's, not, there's not a lot of game planning that I do. Six foot four Honda can can ride a CBR, you know, and be comfortable. I don't see why everyone else can. And I know everyone everyone's level of comfort is different, so um, it's just it's just a matter of preference. On uh, to me, I think this bike is super comfortable. I jumped on R ones and I I think those are comfortable, um, you know. And then the owners would say that they're not comfortable. It just really depends on the person. But if you're looking for a bike that can do it all, I think the CBR, um, CBR 600 RR here is a perfect bike. I mean, you can probably get these for a good price right now. They were, they're 10 years old. Um, probably, I don't know, depending on, you know, how many miles on there, they can go from like, you know, 25 to 4,000, I guess. Twenty five hundred to four thousand dollars, somewhere in there, depending on you know how many miles, how what kind of work it needs. Like I can see myself riding this bike until it just goes kaput. Because right now I got like 30, 30,000 miles. I know I've always debated about getting a new bike. All those new tech. Um, you know, like all the the new electronics on there, electronic packages, all the new tech and stuff. And, you know, just doing research, I don't really need it. I mean, they're, it's good safety features. What the heck is going on over here? Oh, they're watering. No, they're lighting up crap. Fireworks. Stinks! There's so many people around here, that's why I like it, I love it, coming around here. Well, yeah, back to the bike. It's awesome. If you're looking into getting one, I, I would say, tr yeah, try it out. Try out an R6, try out, they're, they're all good bikes, I, I don't know, it's just matter of preference, I guess. 
and you know it comes down to really rider skills if you if you want to if you really think about it they're they're so close i mean as far as the specs go and you really can't go wrong at all like i wouldn't even be mad at anybody that got like a jixer or a, a ninja or an r6 it, i mean you really can't go wrong Especially if it's like you're a beginner's biker or whatnot, then you know you can probably beat it up a little bit, learn on it. He's got a kayak on his G35. That's pretty. Cool. <laughs> no, talking, speaking of versatility, look at that. Everybody wants a personal vehicle, right? <laughs>